it's GP here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So, we're going to be picking up right where we left off from the last episode, after finally discovering the Kappa Mining Site, and marking that down for good. Here. I finally, finally, after what took forever, managed to locate the... Mega Labs within the lily pad aisles. We're here, we'll be exploring. Probably not gonna be doing too much exploring this episode because I have a lot of stuff to make and get down to business with now. So we'll see how this goes. Before we enter, of course, and continue this episode. If you guys want to see more Sonaka content on the channel, please do let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to absolutely demolish the like button and absolutely crush it if you enjoyed what you saw today. Take Jensen in as far as we can go. Hopefully well enough. Alright, what do we got? Some more hardened antenna fruit. Do educate. Alright. Give me one more of those seeds, please. Everything's gonna be a bit slow today, so I hope you guys don't mind. I think I'm good on urban plants for the time being. Again, at least I've labeled this putting up. There it is. Omega Lab. So what have we got in this? Data box. Swim charge phase. I knew those were the first game. Some kind of modification to this Hydrochloric acid blueprint. Very, very nice. And we're pretty deep. I'm running low on oxygen, so we hop into Jensen for the time being. Let me take a look at this new antenna plant I've got on. Okay, it shows me the health bar for it. I will fruit the antenna plant. Looks pretty darn good if you ask me. Okay. So that's gonna be here in research. Yeah, here it is. I don't expect this episode to be too top notch. Oh, sorry, I also scanned like what, the broken mandrake thing? Event. Apparently that's a thing. The hungry fish who devour the antenna fruit will then spread the plant seeds across the biome perpetuating it. Okay, so I just found another new um a new plant is all. No biggie. That's very nice. Look for me to cultivate and grow. So don't mind if I take some more. I already got plenty of seeds, and I can make more seeds. Like anyone else is gonna be using these anyways. Give me my fruit, please. Thank you. Okay. So now let's see the deal in here. I am quite curious. Oh, something worth scanning. Ah, bulkheads. That's right. Now I can like what? Add these watertight ceiling doors. Oh my goodness. There's a lot to notice. We've got a PDA. Focus the task revolution. Plant pot. That might be able to help me grow some things. <laughs> Counter. Why not? I can now make a counter. That'll help me out. Investigation report, Omega Laboratory. Water filtration machine, yes! I'll have an easy access of water and salt. I can't believe it got that so soon, that's nice. Oh, and a command chair, I guess. 
Still a lot to go down. We're stuck in place, let's fix that. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I know. Might just park Jensen right in front of the entrance. Let's hope my driving has gotten somewhat better. Give me that turn, Jensen. You go to a no, wait, wait, wait. Did I tell you to keep going? No, I put in the input to stop. Oh dear. Alright, and now Jensen's gonna give me some light in this place as well. Lovely. Okay, so two things to note here. First off was this. Oh, it's an aromatherapy lamp. Wow. I wonder if that might actually be able to help me. And then we have this data box. Control room. Okay. What is this supposed to be? Anything of importance? It looks like just... Okay, no, it's like just... What? What's the term? A trellis? Oh, wait. Something worth scanning right there. On, okay. Multi-purpose room glass dome. I have like a glass dome roof that I can give my houses. Sweet. Vending machine. Yes, give me that vending machine, please. I appreciate that very much. Dr. Danielle Valenti. Warning. Valenti. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Valenti. No, it's just Valenti. Okay. Let me get a... Hey, let me, let me out. This lab is pretty much a death trap. Oxygen. Alright. What else have we got in here? Everything's a bit sluggish today, including me, to be fair, so... Hopefully it's not too big a deal. Before we go to that Valenti, let's go to this big room. Okay, maybe we'll save big room for last, but I'll take the PDA. Enzyme mutations? Is that the enzyme for the first game? That, uh, helped cure the planet of its, uh, infection? Or is it something different we're talking about here? Ooh, now I've got my curiosity peaked. Danielle's bed. It's kind of creepy to just scan that, but I mean, okay. Picture. I guess I'll take this. When it registers me actually grabbing said picture. No need to hesitate. Any day now. Okay, there. Wait. Was that Sam? Perhaps the plot thickens a bit. Brain dart. That's of like what? An eclipse? That's cool. I think I won't take everything. Vin Fam. Alright. Single bed. Yeah, this is better than scanning Danielle's bed. Because that's totally not creepy. Single bed makes more sense to scan. So basically, framed art. That looks like the. Wait, could that be the. Caravirus? Yay. Vin's art. Warning. Okay, so it's like 30 seconds of oxygen day. remaining. Oh my god. Just... Let me navigate. This place. This place is pretty difficult to go through. That kind of sucks. 
Alan. That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would, but the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Who would want to destroy this planet, huh? Not the architect, surely. Not suggesting you did this, Alan. Are you? I didn't even get to the big main room, I just grabbed the PDA. Wait, did I see that right? Where? Where? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Nuclear reactor. Alright. I see what we're doing here. It's something very important though. Wherever did you go? Power cell charger. Now you're speaking my language. Okay, so this is a nuclear reactor. Waste disposal. I mean, yeah, if I use nuclear reactors, I might want to use this. Have this handy for me. Who else to take notice? This is just a reactor room. Okay, well, dang. I don't know what I was expecting to find. But I guess that's the Omega Lab cleared out. Yeah, that's a uh, battery charge. Wait. Ah, I don't think these batteries are functioning. Past their prime, maybe. Who knows? All I do know is that I've got a lot of info. And this place has been thoroughly explored. So I say... It's time... To head back to base. Check out all this info. Prepare myself to make some things. Warning. And 30 seconds of oxygen. Alright. Quite a lot to digest on. Both between new recipes, blueprints, and um... New information, so let's see what went down at the Omega Labs now that I might have been missing out on. Memos and miscellaneous. The key to total unrounded focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant. Old Miguel concentration dot not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. They will be there, you must be not only better than them, but decoupled from them. For multitasking, now get ready for monotasking. So they've shown that humans, even the most capable among us, cannot focus on two activities at once to the extent required to complete them optimally and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think you're getting more done, when in reality you're most likely neglecting one task or the other. Monotasking rejects the notion that humans should not even bother trying to multitask, as not only does it hinder productivity, but increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher pro productivity. Interesting. Monotasking, huh? Personnel. Alexis Rydell. Employee of the Altera Corp. Independent investigator, Transco Affairs, forced to Altera. Okay, that's a first. These are new. Okay, let's start with Vin's art first. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to Sam. see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but... Vin, is this a mutation? It's just what? an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> Alright, fine. Fine. 
I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? What? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. You guys are doing what? Investigation report. Oh yeah, Alexis. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact. Perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. Hmm. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability. And all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Jeez, okay. Well. Enzyme mutation study, huh? Danielle. We've studied the first Corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Leviathan site. Leviathan site. I've heard about this so many times. Frozen. It's gotta be somewhere on land. Classified biological research. Outpost zero. Yeah, it wouldn't be phi. It's gotta be Outpost Zero. It has to be. Ooh, we're getting into the nitty gritty now, aren't we? Okay, new PDAs aside, let's see some of the new recipes I have, new blueprints. So I can now make hydrochloric acid. I need young cotton anemone. That's kinda specific, but I guess it's whatever. Gold and hydrochloric acid. Gel sacks and rubies, ruby, and I still haven't found a spiral plant for a spiral plant clipping yet. I don't know what I'm looking for there. Reactor rod, this for nuclear reactors. Headlamp. I ooh, an ion battery, really? Seems kind of pricey then. Yikes. Still no propulsion cannon yet. Quantum locker. Okay, I have the blueprint for the prawn suit. Power cell, enamel glass, computer chip, and a plasteel ingot. Nice and simple. Okay, here we go. So I've got a sleeper module is the one I made. I've got a fabricator module now. Oh, that could help me. Unless it only fabricates certain things, if I can get a fabricating module on my truck, I'm good to go. Docking, aquarium, and storage. Yeah, I was able to find everything for those three. I've got a head start. Upgrades, prawn suit stuff. Okay, sea truck depth upgrade. I believe I'll be able to upgrade that somewhere soon. Yeah, here it is, mod station. Mark two. Synthetic fibers, enamel glass, and two rubies. And then mark three. Good old kyanite. Kyanite is back. Okay, so let's see here. Control room. Operational hub for observing and managing habitat power, structural integrity, and aesthetic design. Let's do a bit more research into that. This glass dome roof, sea truck dock, high power and structure requirements. Good to know beforehand. And moon pool. 
So I was excited to get a moon pool, but it looks like what I need is the sea truck dock, if anything. Titanium ingot, advanced wiring kit, and four glass. That should be pretty easy to make. Yes, I'm definitely going to need these two. Maybe not these just yet. Power cell charger, I need lithium for that. Titanium computer shipping, copper wire. Bulkhead doors, I need rubber. This. Copper wire and aerogel. Well, this is a lot, but... Shouldn't be a problem to find it all out. Alright, let's make myself an ingot now. All I really need is glass. And boom. So I have just enough titanium left too. Two and three for each thing. So now I just need quartz for glass. At least I believe it was quartz that I needed for glass. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. That'll be enough. Yep, two for each glass. Also lithium. Okay, I do have a good amount of lithium. I will definitely be able to make a plasteel ingot. Whoa, no you don't. Okay, I've also got an upgrades tab now, and I can actually make one of the prawns upgrades. I got a lot of them. The arms, the jet upgrade. Hmm. Well, all I need is one more glass, and I don't have enough space to add that one more. So, I say, I think my habitat builder. It's been a minute. Let's get cracking, though. Okay, so where was my... Okay, filtration station. There's that. There's the power cell charger. So I'll, I think I'll probably keep this next to my uh, battery charger. Okay. Fire charger is over here. Okay, it's pretty crowded actually. Power cell charger can go across from it actually. This doesn't seem like too bad a spot now, doesn't it? All the things into that. Perfect. I can actually use this real quick. I have a power cell that does need charging. Splendid. Ooh, music's kicking up. Things are getting legit. Wait, let me head down. So first, let me make the last bit of glass for my sea truck dock. Then I'll put up my filtration station. I think that sounds quite sound. Make me some glass. Once I'm done with these, I think I'll make myself my, um, my sea truck upgrade. Ooh. Oh my good. Okay. That is quite a... No, yeah, why not? Water filtration going up. Now I'll be able to get salt deposits and water. No problem. I need to keep an eye on my power situation, though. As for the sea truck dock, I'm probably going to have to go outside for this one, I imagine. Wait, it is a dock for my vehicle. Don't think I'm going to accomplish much putting that inside somewhere. I don't even know how big this thing is, to be fair. Okay. Understandable. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty massive, ain't it? 
rotate. Rotate, please. How am I gonna find a place to put this thing? Oh, bo oh wait. Just floating in the middle of nowhere. I uh, don't think that's the best idea. Let's wait, can I put it under my uh, base? Here. Cover all my bases. Whoo! Let me find a good place for this thing real quick. Well, looks like I'm going to spend a bit of extra time off camera finding a way to connect this to my base. But, we have a sea truck dock. So, you put it into here. It gets pulled near, and I believe it works like a moon pull. I did actually have to look this up, apparently this is some new stuff. That was in a recent update. Let's see. go to my mod station real quick before I think of making that compartment. There's one more thing I want to try to make. I want to upgrade my sea truck to make it go deeper, because we're starting to get to that point. One death module is good. Another one would be even better. So what do I need? Two rubies, enamel glass, and synthetic fibers. Okay, I did kind of run out of rubies, but... I do think I have an idea where to get some more. As for the rest of the materials... So... Oh, I'm done with that one. Synthetic fibers... I need those, uh... Oh, I need more ruby! And that weird spiral plant clipping thing. And then enamel glass was required. Glass lead and diamond, that's right. How much enamel glass do I need for this thing? Only one. I'm good on diamond, but I'm actually kind of low on lead, so I can make the glass. Then I'm gonna have to find a bunch of rubies, and where the heck these spiral plant clippings I get those from? It's gotta be like the table coral, but I have no idea what I'm looking for. Gotta do a bit of, uh... Seek around and find out, I guess. Well, but it looks like in order to upgrade this truck of mine, to upgrade Jensen here, I'm gonna need to go deeper. Those spiral plants. I did a bit of a seeking. Apparently, they're the deep purple vents. Imagine that's also where I can find more gel sacks and rubies, but. Yeah, that's not gonna be a fun time, probably. I think I wanna see if this works real quick this thing actually works. I mean, it's not connected to my base, so I don't know. It's still very new, so... Just drive it. Swim. Oh, okay! I guess it does work! Wow. Okay, it keeps my modules in here. It separates the front here, and then reattach I see. Very neat. Power's not looking good in my place, that's for certain. Yeah, and this door opened up. Ah, here we go. Here's the customization I was looking for. Who needs a moon pool when I got this new thing, huh? Yeah, power's not looking too good. Right, so I'll go ahead and upgrade this. Welcome, Jensen. You finally have a name. What 
colors do we got to work with? Oh, I can see on the camera in there too. Warning, emergency power only. Ah, no, I didn't want red. So does that mean for above as well? Or like, what? Uh, well, at least you have your name. Oh, crud, I don't think I can leave this place now. I just trapped Jensen in here. Well, at least he's named properly now. That's that's good to know. Can I see from the top here, or is the angling not right? Yeah, there it is. Great to see. All right, so this means my whole place is blacked out. My whole place is blacked out. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, so my thing's got a connection. It's not even like properly connect. I will properly connect it just because I should and I can. But that's good to know, I guess. Ah, oh, great. Now how am I going to get those rubies and those spiral plant clippings? Oh, this leaves a lot to be desired. And back out the dock we go. Oh, I don't think y'all are ready to see this man. Jensen. Oh my god, the interior looks great. Lovely shading. Look at this fella. Absolute stunning fella if I do say so myself. We're gonna make you bigger soon, Jensen. I know it's gonna slow you down, but for me that's probably what I need. I don't need me going so fast. Okay, wait, what's your power at? 100 here. Let's get that fixed. Oh wait, you're at full charge. Ah, your power's all charged up and good to go. That's what I like to see. So given we kind of, um, have to go deeper. So, Delta Station Dock is this way. We're gonna do the normal route. We're gonna follow the purple vents. I'm gonna stop right before, though. We all know what lurks there. I'm gonna see if I can't go deeper and try to find these spiral plants. And maybe some rubies and gel sacks. We, I need a lot of ruby right now. I think I could check the copper mining site, but I don't think they have much ruby compared to, like, say, diamond. Well, it wouldn't hurt to check. I'll do that real quick. And then, um, I guess we'll see you at the deep purple vents. Hopefully, nothing wrong goes down there. Okay, so my intuition was right. I managed to locate some ruby at the mining site. I found a good chunk of it too. And now I'm stopping here. I found the purple vents again. I have to go deeper, but I don't think it's a good idea with Jensen being recently redecorated, upgraded. So I'm going alone with my sea glide. Maybe I should have gotten him a bit closer. But with the Chalicerate around here, I don't trust it. Don't know how deep equals deep purple vents. Okay, maybe this is a pretty good indicator, actually, what it means by that. Okay, just need to find Spiral Plant. Whoa. That's some wreckage right there. Okay, where's the big guy? This can't just be right here and not have the big guy be anywhere nearby. I'm not buying it. Well, I get the rest of the... Modulators? Or like the, uh... Sea truck fragments? Right, where's the spiral plant, though? I 
already find that. PDA. Control room rapid depressurization, huh? Okay, there's the aquarium module. I've got that. That's just what remains of a tea truck. Nice water. Spiral plant, spiral plant. I'm not seeing any spiral plant nearby yet. Please let that be just a cryptosuchus. Uh, please let that be just a cryptosuchus. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, there he is. Big fella right there. Ready to shoot straight up. Oxygen. Got a few of their attentions. Back down, back down, back down, back down. Ouch. You didn't have to do that, you know. Kinda wasn't necessary. Okay, I don't need this titanium. I can let that settle for now. Take a water. Okay. Anything else I missed down here? Or am I good to go to continue? Looking. I say that's most of the wreckage explored. There's some lithium. I guess I'll take that. Alright, where's this rare plant that I'm trying to find down here? Okay, it's a glow whale. That frightened me at first. Giant piece of Okay, this looks pretty deep. Oh, that's going to the Lily Pad Islands, though. No, I want to stay in the purple vents. The spiral plane clipping's got to be here somewhere. Where are these things? seen any spiral looking things yet. Calorie intake recommended. Okay, that looks pretty deep. I'm gonna do a straight chop up again. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen try one remaining. more time to find this thing. Hopefully I can. If I can't then I'm just gonna have to do it on my own time. Okay, I was just escaping a Cryptosuchus. Now this looks deep. I don't think my expertise is ready for this kind of adventure yet. Holy cow, yeah, this is deep, alright. Any type of spiral plant life form? Nope, there's another wrecked sea truck. Thing, moon pool. I don't know. Yeah, I have no luck. I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm going to get back up. Hopefully. So I guess I'll upgrade my sea trucks depth module off camera. There's a lot of things. I'm taking a break from recording for a bit to do a lot of things. Um. Warning. Okay. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Maybe be Cryptosuchus. Not worth your time. And yeah, I guess that'll do it for uh, today's episode of Sonica Below Zero. It's time for me to get back into the grind to uh, make things before I set out again. Oxygen. I've got a lot of stuff to make. Yeah, I'll land here actually. Yeah, thank Dangerous you. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Understood. So thank you all for today's episode of Sonica Below Zero. I hope you all enjoyed. As usual, um, the grind begins again. It may be a bit more difficult than the first one for me, but I'm still looking forward to it nonetheless. Uh, check out my second channel, Chris, below if you're interested in any non gamely made content I may have to offer to you guys. Share this video with a. Um, oh, gosh darn it. No, not this thing again. Share this video with your friends or people you know that might enjoy this type of gamer content. Spread the word that I'm here to entertain to other people that haven't heard me before. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye-bye!